All right, thanks for watching. Welcome back. Today I got a really quick unboxing and first impressions of the Lenovo Idea Center Stick 300. Now what this is, is a mini portable computer for your pocket. It fits in the palm of your hand and you basically plug it into the back of your TV into the HDMI port and you can use an external keyboard and mouse that you would plug into the USB that's included and also there's a Bluetooth and Wi-Fi as well so this is a fully functional Windows 10 computer that you plug into the back of your TV and you can basically take it anywhere all you need is a keyboard and a TV so let's check it out so to be perfectly honest with you I have not used Windows for many years now but I saw this online from the Microsoft Store killer sales 70 bucks I mean can you imagine a fully fledged computer Windows 10 Atom processor 32 gig hard drive for 70 bucks I mean remember the days of the, the tall towers build it yourself and do all this and that no nope, that's completely gone 70 bucks is all you need for, for a fully functional computer that you can take anywhere as you can see the boxing very simple not even any uh, details or much graphics about the product just a simple black box an image on the front and that's it so let's go crack it open not much in the way of packaging so just take this piece of Lenovo tape off a big pet peeve of mine is just packaging that's just over the top that's so difficult to open I mean don't companies want you to crack it open instead of just having a, a fit just getting all the plastic and all the stuff off but this one is very easy that was it and there you have it basically the size of maybe like half or a third of the size of many uh, smartphones it kind of looks like those microphones people use to record videos and here it is in the palm of my hand very light you can just stick this in your pocket and you wouldn't even know it was there just think about this this is a fully operational computer just amazing so I turn to the side here's a micro SD port in case you want to have extra storage Here's the USB port, so what you use the USB port is to plug in an external keyboard. Usually what you would do is have the combination keyboard and trackpad into one because there is only one port. Here is the port for a charging power button. And how it works is you plug this into the HDMI port and you would probably have a little extension cord so it doesn't just stick right into the back give you a little bit of leeway and that's it very simple can't get any more simplified than this so digging into the accessories what we have thanks for purchasing da -da -da. instructions and Oh, here's another box. This probably has the cords. Whoop. Yep. Here. Oh, here's the extension for the uh, HDMI HDMI port. Like I said, the uh, the power cable. And this is some type of a mounting, like a clip. I think maybe for the back of your TV. And this, oh, here's the uh, the power block that you plug into the outlet. And that's it. How simple is that? Basically, one, two, three, four, five parts. And that's that's all you need. Of course, it does not include the external keyboard, so you have to spring a couple bucks for that. I found one for $20. I mean it's not the greatest thing but it'll help you get started and of course in the future if you need something that is 
more heavy duty, you'd probably have to invest more. Or what I would do is actually just use this as a media center where I wouldn't have to type too much. I basically would just fire up whatever I'm watching, just let it go. Or also tap into, into it remotely using something like Splash Top, which has been a very good service for me. I've been using it for many years on a myriad of devices. So I would just use my laptop, keep this at home if I need to use a Windows device and just tap into it. Or, or just use it for streaming if I don't want to overheat my regular computers. So why don't we uh, check it out when we put it into an actual TV. So here we are. You see it plugged into the back of the computer. It could not have been any easier. So the extension cord goes straight into the HDMI port. Here is the external keyboard that I used. So I got this real cheap one. It's like a $20 thing I found online. Keyboard plus trackpad. Not the fanciest thing, but it will get me started and will do the basics. And this goes straight to the power supply and that's it. So why don't we just fire this thing up and see how it looks. And here you have it, a fully operational Windows 10. As mentioned, I'm not too familiar with Windows 10. This is my first time using it, but I'm sure it'll be a really quick learning curve and it'll come in handy whenever I need it. So that's it, basically. And once I get more acclimated with this, I might come back with another video to show you how well it works. But so far, so good. It looks just like normal Windows, and I can't tell any difference between this and a larger computer. So if all you need is a little simple computing and portability is a huge plus then hey $70 or even up to 100 I've seen it maybe a little over 100 but if you ever see it for less than that close to 70 definitely jump on it Lenovo Idea Center Stick 300 get yours today I can't recommend it anymore thanks for watching remember to subscribe for more videos I promise to put more up in the near future so Thanks again, and I'll see you again soon.